In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you a simple way that you can basically turn the 335 wide meta into the 245 double A gap defense and basically be able to send significantly heavier pressure at the quarterback while still maintaining really good coverage. Now, if you're new to the channel, my name's Cody and we do videos like this every single day just to help people become better Madden players. So if you're looking to get better at this game, I'd really encourage you to hit the subscribe button down below. It's free to do that, just allows you to stay up to date uh, and know whenever we release new videos. Also, I'm gonna be talking today about the 335 wide defense. If you wanna learn my full 335 wide guide, I have it actually broken down in extreme detail in my Patreon membership. My Patreon membership actually will also include all 24 of my Madden 22 offensive and defensive eBooks. In addition to that, we also have weekly pro tips and updates to kind of keep you on top of the competitive community and what the meta is in this game. So if you wanna check out all of that content, it's only $10 to sign up for the membership and there'll be a link in the description if you wanna check it out. So let's take a look here real quick. So basically the idea is this, and I'm just gonna come out in 245 AA gap. If you wanna run a 245 AA gap scheme, essentially what you wanna do is you wanna come out in the play, generally speaking, um, you wanna come out in this play cover one hole. And what makes this play so good is you're just gonna basically global blitz these guys. You can spread your D line and pinch your linebackers. I actually think that's not a bad way to do this blitz or to run this blitz. And then you can, if you want to, double contains. And what you'll see is you're just gonna basically try to touch the center at the snap of the ball. And what you'll see is we'll get two people free at the quarterback. So real simple. Now, if you wanna make it even simpler, you can literally just blitz your linebackers, come up here, and that's it. And what you'll see is the pressure will absolutely scream. As you can see right there, really fast pressure. Now what makes this defense so good is that one of the number one ways that people like to pick up pressure in Madden is they like to block the tight end. Well, if the tight end blocks, if we just get a little bit more of a push right there, you see we can still kind of scream at the quarterback a lot of times through the A-gap or through the opposite side edge. So all we're gonna do, you know, if the running back goes on a route, we're just gonna go cover the running back. So you see here, we can still go cover the running back and a lot of times the pressure will come in. I didn't set it up that right, but you can see the, the idea or the basic principle, um, you know, the basic principle of the defense. And again, if you if you crash out your line or something, just kind of get these edge angles. And then I would contain, a lot of times that can help a little bit. So you see here, just kind of coming looping around the edge, okay? So another reason why this is advantageous is let's say for example that the opponent blocks a running back. Well, we know in this year's game, that contains will do a really good job against a blocked running back. So you see right here, we're still able to come in right down the gap, right down the pipe. So how can we recreate this basic principle from 335 wide? Well, I'm glad you asked. It's actually real simple. Um, so we're gonna come out. I like to use the play Mike Blitz Zero for this. You could also make an argument um, for using Cover One Robber if you want to, but I like to use Mike Blitz Zero. And how we're gonna set this up is actually really simple. We're gonna globally blitz our linebackers. Actually, I'm sorry, I forgot. I think I have auto flip on. Let me, let me make sure my coaching settings are right. So coaching setting, auto flip is on, auto alignment to whatever. You can put it on man line if you want to. Um, you know, you might just wanna audible to this because you would be audible to this from three throw normal anyway, but um, it can align a little wonky against bunch sometimes. So that's why I like to generally audible to this. So you could come out and, you know, cover one robber if you want. And you could do this from cover one robber. It's the same exact setup. The only difference is with cover one robber, um, you're gonna use or a different player basically. But anyways, so I'm gonna go Mike Blitz zero. And then what we're gonna do here is we're gonna globally blitz our linebackers and we're gonna press and what you'll see is a lot of times this guy will come down into the A gap. Now, what the key with this is we're gonna actually user the safety that is guarding the running back. So I'm just gonna put him in a zone and we're gonna contain just like that. I like to crash my line out too for this. And essentially you see here, we've kind of recreated double A gap and it snaps the ball. You're gonna see that these contains are going to absolutely scream off the edge. You don't have to contain if you don't want to, but what's really cool about 335 wide this year, whoops. What is really cool about 335 wide this year is if you contain your pass rush, a lot of times, and I'll show you here. So this is cover one robber, and you see it is a little different. 
but you just want to go to the opposite side of wherever he is. So like in this example here, you know, you might want to man that guy up on the tight end. But anyways, a lot of times against three, three, five wide, if they block their running back, you'll see right here that these contains will absolutely just scream in. So you see how fast the pressure comes. A real quick pressure right in the face of the quarterback. The same is true um, with this blitz. So we not only get really good contains, not only do we get really good pressure with this, but we still are able to use three through five wide, which I think has the best alignment, best run defense, all of that. But notice something else with this. If we block our tight end, this normally picks up the pressure, with this blitz, as you can see, it's still gonna come in off that left side. Now, the other thing that I want you to notice really quickly is I want you to notice that if they block seven, what you should get is a one-on-one -on -one with one of your contains and the running back. So you'll see right here, we're kind of hovering right in here. They block seven. A lot of times you'll still get somebody free or at least a really quick disengage. So this is a great way to just kind of really send the dogs out of one of the best formations in the game. 3 through 5 wide is so versatile for so many reasons. And you could spread your line and crash them up if you wanted to. That's not a bad idea because you could kind of give a, get you kind of stand right here if you will. And then at the snap of the ball, you're just going to kind of do that. And again, if they block seven, it, it, it does pick it up some. But again, they're going to have to max protect. And in this game, if you have to max protect, it's it's not good. Um, you know, you want to be able to you want to be able to at least send out four routes this year, in my opinion. That's kind of the main thing. And the beauty of this is, like I said, you know, the, the tight end's not going to be able to block it, and the running back's not going to be able to block it. And one other quick tip, pro tip, if the tight end blocks, let's say the running back goes out on a route, a lot of times you need to be the guy to go guard that running back. So as you can see right there, as soon as we engage, we're out and going to run to the running back. Now, if you wanted to do cover one robber, okay, another you could do it like this, where you use this three rack as kind of a help defender. The problem is the tight end has nobody on him. So that's just something you need to remember. But you can come down with this guy if you want to kind of threaten that. And then, you know, you kind of just do something like this. And like I said, you just got to get down to coverage fast. But you see how fast the blitz comes in? And you can do this out of anything in 335 wide. So let's say you wanted to do this out of cover two. This is one of my favorite defenses to do it out of. So I'm gonna cover two this bunch side. I've got my blitz set up here. And then what I'm gonna do on this backside is I'm just gonna man up that number one receiver. And then I'm gonna be, you know, I could either stand here or I could also still stand here if I wanted to. And you'll notice they blocked the running back, okay. And we know that that's gonna come in every time. So really good heavy blitz from three through five wide, something that you might consider messing with. I think it's just a great way to really force the issue a little bit and just get some additional pressure at the quarterback. If you wanted to leave two high safeties, you would you would um, just use the nickel corner. One last little pro tip uh, for the road for you that you can do. A lot of people really like to use this guy, myself included. If you're playing a formation like a bunch set, you can go ahead and try to blitz this nickel corner. So I'll show you that real quick. Um, just notice his blitz angle is a little bit interesting. And so the big issue with this is if they block their tight end, a lot of times the pressure doesn't come in, as you can see right there. So you kind of got to mess with that. We've got a couple videos in the guide that teach you a little bit more about that blitzing concept. So that way you can kind of keep a too high shell. Um, that's why actually why one of the many reasons why nickel normal is such a good defense because it allows you to send so much pressure even from a too high shell. But anyways, guys, that's the video. Thanks for watching. If you want to get the full ebook on this, I've got the nickel normal. I've got the 335 wide. I've got everything in our Patreon. That'll be linked down in the description. You can join the Patreon uh, for just $10 and literally get access to all the ebooks, all the updates to those guides and our weekly pro tips as well that we we've been releasing all year, kind of keeping you on top of the meta. Thanks for watching the video. We'll see you guys next time.